The four layers of the earth are crust, mantle, outer core, and inner core, as taught in school. But that may not be the case for much longer, as scientists have discovered hints of a structure within the inner core, indicating that the earth's constitution includes a fifth layer. The earth, which was created 4.5 billion years ago from a solar nebula, has a radius of 3,950 miles and weighs 5,972 yodograms. The figures are so impressive that it appears that scientists have studied every aspect of our planet, but this is far from the case. Scientists know a lot about what's on the surface of the globe. But what about the inside? Keep on watching to find out. So, what did scientists find inside the Earth? According to a recent study, Earth's deep core may be filled with a strange fluid that is neither solid nor liquid. For more than a half century, scientists thought Earth's deepest depths were made up of a molten outer core encasing a highly compacted ball of solid iron alloy. However, new study provides a rare glimpse into the planet's interior structure, which is considerably stranger than previously assumed. Scientists have identified a massive structure formed of dense material filling the 1,864-mile zone between Earth's liquid outer core and lower mantle under our feet. The researchers investigated the unexplained phenomena occurring deep beneath our own globe using a machine learning system that was initially created to evaluate faraway galaxies. One of these massive anomalies has never been discovered before, deep beneath the Marquesas Islands, while another structure beneath Hawaii was discovered to be significantly larger than originally believed. Seismograms from hundreds of earthquakes that happened between 1990 and 2018 were entered into an algorithm named Sequencer by scientists led by Doyen Kim, a seismologist and postdoctoral. While most seismological studies focus on relatively small datasets of regional earthquake activity, Sequencer allowed Kim and his colleagues to examine 7,000 measurements of earthquakes that shook the subterranean world beneath the Pacific Ocean in the last three decades, each with a magnitude of at least 6.5. Kim said, this study is very special because, for the first time, we get to systematically look at such a large dataset that actually covers more or less the entire Pacific Basin. Despite the fact that scientists had previously mapped out structures deep under the Earth, this research offers a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to bring everything together and try to explain it in a global perspective, as he put it. Seismic waves are produced by earthquakes and travel into the Earth's interior, where they are dispersed and altered by formations deep within our globe. Seismograms, which are records of wave activity inside the Earth, capture these twisted patterns, allowing seismologists to obtain rare glimpses into Earth's inaccessible underworld. The team has been focused on seismograms produced by shear, also named S-waves, waves that travel along the boundary between Earth's core and the lower section of the mantle that borders it. These waves are the slower secondary waves that occur after earthquakes' initial tremors, known as primary waves, also known as P-waves, and they generate clearer signals. When shear waves impact these structures, they form a postcursor, which is a sort of echo-like signal. These echoes imply the presence of ultra-low velocity zones, which are dense regions on the core mantle border deep within Earth. The result of this research shows that Earth's inner core isn't pure iron, as previously thought, but rather a mushy substance made up of an iron alloy of iron atoms and lighter elements like oxygen or carbon, as shown by how a sort of seismic wave traveled through our planet's innards. However, experts were unsure what this mush was made of. Because probe access to the core is impossible, the researchers used a simulation instead. They compiled seismic data and fed it into an advanced computer program that recreated the effects of the core's extreme pressures and temperatures on a variety of likely core elements like iron, hydrogen, oxygen, and carbon. Atoms in a typical solid organize themselves into repeating grids, but models of Earth's core show that atoms would be changed into a superionic mix, a framework of iron atoms around which the other elements might freely swim, pushed by enormous convection currents. If the simulation is accurate, the continual swelling of the mushy superionic materials might explain why the structure of the inner core appears to vary so much over time, as well as how the massive convection currents that create Earth's magnetic field are formed. But first, the model must be proven so there is definitely something hidden beneath the Earth's surface. You'll have to take another trip to the heart of the Earth to get the solution of what is hidden. For the time being, we must wait for further results. So, what do you think is under the surface of the Earth? Let us know in the comments.